nowadays, people have experienced the impact of gender stereotyping in advertising that portrayed the roles and limitations of a woman. Some companies such as Gucci and H&M has been judged for publicized stereotypes contents that have resulted in huge amount of negative PR. Companies should practice marketing 3.0 that aim to fulfill not only the consumer but have a bigger aim on contribute to the world. Instead of treating target market simply as a consumer, the company should approach them as a human being with spirit and mind. Consumers are always looking for a product that contains more on human spirit fulfillment instead of emotional and functional fulfillment. Marketing 3.0 is about enhancing the human spirit marketing along with emotional marketing. By banning the gender stereotyping content in advertising, the company are able to regain customer trust. Today, broader company attempts to deal with gender stereotyping. For example, Unilever launches its global and stereotype initiative in 2017 with the purpose to allow its brand reflect on how they characterize women in their ads as well as avoid tired stereotypes. This has took them one step further by collaborating with 24 companies to form an unstereotype alliance with the purpose of tackling the issue at an industry level. These companies include Facebook, Twitter, Google, Microsoft, UN Women, PNG, and more. If a company is able to work with the ASA, who has decided a tough line is needed to deal with the problem, they are able to restrict themselves of using gender stereotyping in advertising, which helps to bring equal opportunities, and understand the line on the use of appropriate and inappropriate stereotypes. For example, Avoid statements such as girls like pink or girls are only good in art. So another solution which could help solve the gender stereotyping problems of advertising would be to focus our attention more towards the societal marketing orientation. Societal marketing orientation focuses not only by being better than the competitors but also by taking into consideration the consumers and the society as a whole. By taking into consideration the consumer and society as, whole, as a whole, we are also taking into consideration their physical, mental and spiritual well-being. Companies and organizations have a responsibility and a role in advancing our moral values within the society. And societal marketing helps us reach that particular standard. By focusing on the overall society, companies can target an advertising campaign which avoids gender norms in our society. As mentioned previously, consumers are always looking for their answer and have needs based on their own values and beliefs. In conclusion, women have their equal opportunity to reach their full potential in all spheres of life. Companies should practice more on different theories like marketing 3.0 and social term marketing in order to deliver customer needs to show more on human spirit fulfillment and build long-term relationship. Last but not least, stereotyping is a very important issue nowadays and everyone should be treated equally, especially women. 